Hello, welcome back. In this session, we are going to create our first project in HANA 2.0 using the Web IDE tool. So we are in Web IDE and this is the workspace. So by default, when you connect to the Web IDE, the blank workspace will be available. And to create a new project, right click on the workspace, select new project from template. There are three templates available. So please note that I am using the latest service pack which is SPS3 revision 35. So if you see only the MTA project, you may be one or two service packs behind what I am using. So in the latest service pack, service pack 03 in revision 35, SAP added these two templates. Okay. So now uh, for our database development, this new template is going to be the perfect fit. Okay, so now I am selecting the HANA database application, SAP HANA database application template. Here you can see create a project for development, developing an SAP HANA database application. Okay, next, click on the next and give the project name. So I am going to give T4H first project okay so give any name and click next and here in the template customization option you will see the application id same as your project name and the application version and description is optional so wherever you see the star mark those are the mandatory and if you don't see the star mark those are optional and you need to access at least one of the space should be available for the development so hana express edition comes by default with the development space and another space called sap so development space is perfect for the development so in your project your space may be different but you should have access at least to at least one space for the development okay so now in the next part this is the database details so the namespace is going to be every like for every object the namespace is going to attach so the namespace the length of the namespace is not like if the length of the namespace is too long then it will create lengthy naming convention for our object so i am going to uh, put just t4h dot dv db is the database module so this is a different module uh, within the same project so t4h dot db that is the database module i am going to use and schema name is optional here but uh, i strongly recommend you to create a schema uh, name it, name the schema so i am going to give t4h underscore db okay so that's my schema name t4h underscore db and here sap hana database version which is 2.0 sps3 and uh, these projects are backward compatible so if you have any objects already developed in the previous version so those are still up like you can use those objects still in the new latest version okay so next click the next and here nothing to change so click just click finish okay so now the the project is successfully created and here is our project name t4h first project and this is the database module db and whatever the database module we create here so all the database related files should be under the db module generally the source file where we create all the tables views all those things so in general practice people create the tables in the source and uh, models in a different folder so you can create a new folder as well new cl click on the folder so you can create a new folder and the project.json is going uh, like project.json and ml file these are the two supportive files for for any project so whenever you create a project these two files gets generated 
and if you see the content of project.json sap slash hdi deploy so this this file supports when you are building your project so when you run the build command so this file provides all the supported uh, files from the npm module npm means node package manager so that module all the files will come and build your project and aml file is something you want to add some resources or basic information about the project and uh, if any extra module right now we have one db module but if you have a node.js module all those modules you want to configure then you can do here so right now we'll ignore these two and we'll proceed with our uh, database development then we'll come back and see okay so now let's create one table so click on the right click on the source folder right click select new and then go to the hdb cds artifact okay so there are calculation view all functions processors virtual tables flow graphs replication there are so many features available and all these features we'll cover in our in our next uh, course called XSA modeling so for now we'll go with the hdb cds artifact so i'm going to create a cds file and i'm going to uh, give that file name as t4h tables create so this is the cds graphical editor so now for this session we are going to use the code editor instead of the graphical so right click and choose the option open code editor okay so when we are creating the project if you remember the namespace so let me zoom it little bit so here the namespace we provided t4h.dv right so the same namespace came here t4h.dv and the context the file name what we provided t4h underscore tables is the file name we create uh, like we created when selecting the cds artifact so same here so t4h underscore tables that's the context so here if i say entity and give the table name so i'll say my table and provide the brackets so here i'm going to define a key field with id integer the syntax is important here name i think string 10 so here the double quotes are required okay so now we are going to define a table the table name is table name is going to be my table and i have two fields id and name and the first id is a key field and the data type is integer and remember these are not exactly same as the sql uh, data types so you have to mention like integer string and the first letter is in capital here also string first letter is capital and then the length of the string okay so all those things we are done now let's save the file so here is the save button save save all if you have multiple tabs click on the save all so it will save all the tabs so yeah since we have one 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 tab so just click on the save button and close it now i'm going to right click on the db module and build i can do the build from here or else i can select this and click on this build so now the build of t4h first project slash db started and here you can see the log so while the project is getting built it will generate the log here so this may take a few seconds since our project is very small it should finish very fast
So you can see your module contains package.json file. It will be used for the build. So that file is useful for the build process. Okay, the build of T4H first project slash DB completed successfully. Okay, now we created a table. So where we can see the table. So for that, go to the database explorer, which is like a runtime objects and you can run SQL like commands in the database explorer. So since we are first time switching into the database explorer, so it will, it is asking you want to add the database click yes if you click no then you can always uh, click on this plus icon to click it so now search for our uh, database so this is our project name right t4h first project hdi db so this is our project name so select that and if you scroll down so now here uh, name to show in display so you can give any any name here so even though the project name is so a system generated all these names uh, so at the end it concatenated our project name and this uh, some string generated right so this is generated by system so you it's not required for you to use the same name so you can use any name even you can change and put something else so i'm going to use just my project name as a database click OK. Now you will see here the database created. So when you run the data, when you run the, when you build the project, then only your database will be generated. So this is similar to the SAP HANA studio in the catalog folder. You see the synonyms, column views, functions, processors, right? So the cubes and data stores are part of the native data warehouse foundation SAP HANA introduced in 2.0. So that's not part of our course. So the graphical works. So there are so many objects. Now, if you scroll down and here the procedures and also the tables, right? So if you click on these tables, then you will see our table, the namespace t4h.db. That is our namespace. So that concatenated with the table name uh, t4h underscore table name t4h underscore tables. That is our context. And then the last is our table name. So that's how the table name forms. So if I provide the uh, namespace as a very big one, then my table name is going to be very, very, very big. So that's why make sure to give the short names. And even the context, you can truncate it to small. Click on this table and you'll see all the columns what we created. ID, name and SQL data type is integer, varchar, and column store is int string. So that's how the table is created. Now, if you want to insert some data into this table, so you can simply access the SQL console from this. So click on the table and click here, the SQL, right? So click here and insert some data, insert, into add this table values one comma t4h same like our hana studio sql so there is no difference so this is just a different interface that's it okay select that and click on this button to execute so statement inserted successfully now select star from the table so this length length of the table is big so that's why i'm just dragging using the drag and drop so we have one record with id1 and name t4h okay so now this is this looks good and uh, the database is generated and we are able to see the database and also the development objects so this is a design time object this is a runtime object as i said earlier so now the the database is generated but how can i see this database in hana studio okay so that is not important but it's good to know right so we'll see how to see the web ide project database in hana studio in the next session 
So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Until then, happy learning. Bye.